Hi everyone, James here, client manager at wavestreaming.com. Now, recently we've putting, been putting together some videos for you about microphones, um, and we've had a lot of feedback from you saying, these all sound great, but you know, what is this phantom power thing that everyone goes on about? You know, if you want professional quality studio microphones like the, one I've got in, like the ones I've got in front of me, they need a power source. And I just wanted to explain exactly uh, what the purpose of this is and you know why can't you just plug these directly into your PC like you would with the mic you go down and buy at your local computer store. Firstly they've got these connections uh, most standard condenser microphones have this type of connector on which is called XLR. Now this is an industry standard um, connector which is used in studios worldwide and it's also used um, you know in live gigs all this sort of thing. And it's really good quality, uh, you know, it's a good quality connection um, and also the way the cable is designed means there's, it minimises on any kind of interference. So really the result you get is greater. However, pretty much no computers I know have got a port like that on, which is where the barrier sits. Um, a lot of people who want to set up home studios either just record music or if they're radio broadcasters or to record podcasts don't have the facilities to connect that to their computer. Now, conventionally, a few years ago, the only really way of doing this, connecting an XLR to your computer, would be to buy a whacking great big mixing desk with the power supply for these microphones built into it, and it then sends a power source down the cable and into the mic so the mic can function correctly. Um, you know, and, and they've got ports on with this type of connector. But something new has come along. This is kind of quite exciting. And I really think this is going to revolutionise the way um, that a lot of st home studios operate. But not only that, a lot of reporters will find this very, very useful as well, particularly if they're constantly on the move. Uh, we've got a little gadget sent to us by Sure, you know, industry standard microphone manufacturer. You've probably heard of them before. And it's basically this thing here. Now, this is the X2U. And what this consists of is an XLR connection on one end and then a USB port on the other and this has got everything inside it believe it or not needed to connect one of these massive microphones up to your computer or your laptop and produce you know really good studio quality results and this can be used in a couple of different ways it can either be sat you know kind of in line e.g. you have your cable coming out of, of a microphone. This is a very short cable by the way. I imagine most cables will be a lot longer than this. And then we can connect the cable into the actual um, you know, XTU device. And then on the other end will be a USB cable coming out and going into a computer. Or alternatively, and this is why I really like the design of this device and why I think it's really beneficial to those people, particularly on the move, because there are other devices which do exactly the same thing. However, they usually come in the form of a kind of rather big box, you know, not huge, but a lot bigger than this nevertheless. But this can actually just be connected directly into the microphone itself. Um, you know, whatever this is a, a shotgun mic, you know, a lot of TV uh, news reporters will use this when they're out on the streets interviewing people. Um, and we can actually just connect this directly into the microphone itself and then, you know, it becomes part of the mic, you know, particularly in this kind of long, thin design. You know, I could then sit there and I could say, hello, sir, how's it going today? And, you know, I could interview people and record straight onto, you know, a laptop perhaps I have with me. Uh, and as I say, produce really good sounding quality results where previously I may have been using, you know, a cheaper microphone connected directly to my laptop, which didn't have a sound quality that something like this would. Another great feature of this is it's also got a monitor built in, uh, which means you can literally, you know, connect your headphones directly to this, uh, so you can monitor and hear everything that's going on. And it's just a case of uh, plugging them in. It's a standard uh, headphone jack connector on the side of it, and you'd be able to listen to everything going on. There's also uh, various level controls, so you can adjust the the gain of your mic, the volume, and also the actual volume of your headphones as well. And finally, there's just a little button which toggles on and off. Uh, phantom power. Most of these mics I've got in front of me um, need this phantom power source uh, which is just generated by the power coming out of your USB cable. All in all, this is a really really handy device um, and you, you might well consider adding this to your inventory, particularly if you're on the move um, and you're you know, roaming presenter. The downside to this is it's quite expensive for what it is and I guess this is just due to the fact that it's pretty much a breakthrough type of device, it's very small, it's very new, it's built well and you know it's exceptional quality, however this is £100 um, which would make it about $160 which really in itself is kind of 
puts it out of the range of a lot of lower end uh, broadcasters. Purely because you know you could go and spend that same amount on one of these microphones individually. Um, so spending that much on a, just a device to make the microphone work kind of makes it a bit um, you know expensive compared to other inexpensive devices. Um, you know something like this, a Samsung uh, USB powered microphone, would cost a little bit more than this device but it's got the actual USB functionality built right into it itself, so there's no need for this, eliminates the need for this device. However, as I say, all these other microphones do need something like this, or will need to be hooked up to a mixing desk in a studio. It's the Shure X2U, um, mini kind of sound card, if you like, or um, microphone device, um, which we really have pleased to have played around with over the past couple of weeks. Thanks for watching, and take care. We'll speak to you again with some more product reviews in the near future. Bye for now.